Hi again everyone. I decided this time to come back on and let you see while I'm mixing my ice cream. I've already got all the ingredients in here, but I will post on, on YouTube exactly what I have in here. If you want to know what I have in here, I have some um, a handful of uh, frozen bananas, one organic banana. I have a handful of strawberry and apple grape blend plus one acai fruit which is the purple fruit and I have a, some, some honey in here and uh, we'll see how it goes and I've got my bowl out so I want you to watch it mixing I do it in my Ninja because there's a lot more of it and I don't add any milk to it or anything at all if I need milk I'll put a little rice cream or something in uh, yeah yep I'm making some ice cream so you guys can watch me mix it and I'm telling you exactly what I put in it I'll put it up on YouTube too so you know what I put in it I've started mixing it because I wanted to make sure it was going to mix okay now I'll, now I'll turn it back on it's going to be loud so what happened is I put my spatula I think and, and get it down just use a spoon so I can find right now. It's gonna, it's, it, I don't put any liquid or anything in it because if I put liquid in it, that makes it too, too, uh, too mushy. So I don't want to put any liquid in it. And this will eventually, this will eventually mix up. It just, it's got a lot of frozen fruit in here, and it just takes time. I got to get it down. It'll get mixed because I've made it before. I think what I might do, I might just get a little bit of rice stream and put it in the bottom of it. Just a minute, let me go get some. Sometimes putting a little bit of rice stream helps to get started. I don't put very much, however. I just pour a little bit in it, and that kind of gets, because i got more frozen fruit than I have um, fresh fruit. So that kind of helps it, helps it along a little bit. I don't want it real thick, but I don't want it so thin either that's like water. So we'll see how it's going to work this time. There it goes better. mixed up enough. Oh yeah it is. And I did, before I come on, before I made this, I went and did all my dishes, washed them all up. Now I'm going to have to have this to wash again. I always seem like I wash dishes two or three times a day when I start just cooking stuff. I'm always filling my sink up and then I have to clean them up.
how this is going to look. And bear with me. Okay, as you can see, look at the consistency of it. You don't want it real thin. It's got to be on the thick side because I don't want it melting on me. And look at the very pretty color. That comes from the acai fruit. The acai fruit was the purple color. That is really a deep, deep purple. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Look at that pretty color. And I will hold I will hold it up when I get done. So you can see exactly what it looks like in the bowl. It is so pretty. And the only sweetener I put in here was honey. I just sprinkled some on the inside. I don't I didn't measure it out or anything. I just I just sprinkled some in it. So, okay, I'll hold this up. Now you can see what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? Um, I got it at Walmart. It was it it was at Walmart in the freezer counter with the other fruits. Um, sure, you can use agave. I decided to use uh, honey this time, but you can use blue raw agave, regular agave, or any agave that you want to use. But I decided to use honey. Here it is. Um, I think it's a very pretty color. It really is. And it's going to taste so. Let me, let, in fact, let me taste it while you're here so I can tell you what it tastes like. Wow. That's really good. Hi, good to see you. Welcome, Megan. This is my. Superfruit ice cream. It's got a kai in it. A C A I. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a. It's supposed to be a real, real good fruit. And I bought it. I bought it in a package. I think there was about ten or so in the package. And this is about my third time of using it because I put it in my smoothies too. Um, and it's really good. Oh, your name is Karen too. Well, welcome. Oh, doesn't it though? And I've already tasted it. It's very good. Like I said, I just put. I just I dabbled a little bit of honey on it. When I, when I mix it together to sweeten it up a little bit. But actually, in essence, you don't really need much sweetener because, you you know, they, they all have sugar in them anyway. And there's no added sugar because I don't put any added sugar into it. Some people do when they make ice cream, but I don't because this is, this is a good ice cream. This is healthy ice cream. Oh, you love to watch me. Uh, uh, well, you look at it. I guess it could be because it's on the thick side. It's, you know, I did add a little bit of rice stream, as you can see. I put a little rice stream in it because it was having a hard time mixing because I had more of the frozen and I had the fr than I had the fresh. I didn't have an equal amount, which you don't have to anyway, but I always put a fresh banana in it to kind of help it and give it the consistency. But I put a little bit of rice stream. That's the only thing I put in the bottom was rice stream. You probably could use soy milk too, but I wouldn't suggest almond milk to make it too sweet. But I put a little bit of rice stream in the bottom of it just to help help it along. And as you can see, it's a very, very pretty color. That's that's the deepest purple I've ever had on ice cream. Good, hi, good to see you. Welcome to everybody that's in here. And I thank you, could, thank you for coming back in and supporting me on this. I know this is about my third time today, but you know this will be the last time today, but I wanted to do this ice cream. I checked my videos again to see if I had done this and I hadn't done it. I've done a smoothie like similar to this, but I haven't done ice cream. So I wanted to do some ice cream because I haven't had any, I haven't had any ice cream for a while. Um, oh, that is horrible to say. Oh my goodness. That is awful. That is awful. Goodbye. He's got that person. I hope he got, he got reported because that's terrible. What did I deserve that? What my goodness. That was awful. I didn't say anything to that person for him to do that. Oh my goodness. Some people have, well, you know, he must be miserable. So he wants to bring his, he's being miserable on everybody else. Good. Good. You got to keep reporting them. Even though they get blocked, you keep reporting them. They'll eventually have to leave Periscope because they'll kick them off. They won't all be back on unless he makes another username up. And sometimes they do. But, you know, we're going to get those people in here. Oh, man. They, you know, they, yeah, he was. He could be on drugs for all we know. But they're crazy when they start talking like that. But what can you do? All they do is block them. Get them out of here. And we got to keep the peace in here. But as you can see, when you make your own... Um, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't really know. I haven't, uh, I haven't come that thought about that yet. You never know. I might surprise you in the morning if I come up with another recipe. I don't know yet. So, yeah, we have to leave him to the Lord. You're exactly right. But 
This ice cream that I make for myself is a healthy indulgence. I know what I put into it. It's nothing that's going to harm me because if you, you look at those ice cream containers at the store, whether they're in the box containers or in the big tubs, how many ingredients they have in there? It's all processed. A lot of you can't pronounce them. Here, I know everything I put in here. I can pronounce every word. You know, and it's it's not sugary. It's not real sweet because the ice cream you get in the store is really sweet. This is not sweet and it's not sugary. It doesn't have any, you know, just has ice cream in it, which is good. It's, it's the healthy indulgence. So that's why I like making ice cream because it's healthy for me and I can eat it without having to worry about. Welcome, Mama Rosa. Here is my ice cream I made. Isn't that pretty? That's a very pretty color, isn't it? I like it. It's got a kai fruit in it. It's got uh, the, uh, frozen bananas and a fresh banana. And it's got um, strawberries, bananas, and it's got apple grape medley in it, plus the acai. Um, do I need an ice cream maker? No, I think my ninja will make that just fine. But like I said, someday I hope to get a bite of mix and I can make it in there too. Um, well, doesn't it though? It is. I've already tasted it, Mama Rosa, and it is delicious. It's delicious. Oh, and I want to apologize, Mama Rosa, for not answering your question this morning. I didn't see it right away. I was told by somebody on Periscope, I don't remember who it was, that you really shouldn't be eating fruit with your breakfast. Eat it 30 minutes before your breakfast, but not with your breakfast. So that's why I said that. I guess it's everybody's preference. If you want to eat with your breakfast, go right ahead. I had a banana in my pancake, so I had it with my breakfast. So, <laughs> so it's everybody's preference. I am just absolutely fine. I hope you're fine too. But, you know, I, this is a healthy indulgence. This is an indulgence that I know I'm not going to gain weight. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know remember who, who it was that said it, but I, I do like to have fruit with my cereal, you know, blueberries on it or something like that. Uh, no, I don't have any carob powder, unfortunately. I didn't put any in it. I don't have any. I suppose I'll have to get it like a Whole, Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. Uh, well, that's possible. They, they, you never know. They might eat meat, too. It's hard, it's hard to say, but I put fruit. I, I eat fruit with my breakfast. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I always have. I like to put bananas in my cereal sometimes. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So, you know, it's good for me. You know, and this is fruit. And like I said, this is a healthy indulgence. This is an indulgence that we can all um, indulge in and not gain weight. We know what's in it. Um, that's right. I've got to follow the eight laws of health. And But I'm just going to continue to do what I've been doing. And, oh, got oh you got to go okay well thank you for coming in Megan and yeah I'm, you're welcome you too yes yeah we do we know what to eat you know and I'm going to continue to to continue to do these and I'll put fruit in my cereal I put like bananas on my cereals blueberries and stuff like that you know like I said I had a banana in my pancakes this morning and they were absolutely delicious uh I'm oh, <laughs> oh man uh gee oh you know, I just, I don't make cookies unless I make them out of, out of the almond pulp. But I made a healthy indulgence ice cream. If anybody didn't see it, that's, it's a very pretty color, too. That's because the acai fruit is a purple fruit. It's a very good fruit. I happened to buy a package of acai fruit at Walmart. I was surprised they had it there. And it's good in my smoothies, too. Um, oh, you make, wow. I'm going to have to look at, did you put that on YouTube, Mama? Because I want to, I want to, I want to see that if you put it on YouTube. Um. Well, most of the time, the things I've been making lately, yes, I've been finding the recipes on the Internet, and I've been making them from scratch. Oh, you're going to make it tomorrow? On your, oh, okay, Mama, I'll be looking for it. Um, you like banana? Yeah, banana pancakes, straw. How about blueberries? Peaches, blueberries, strawberries, mangoes, any of those fruits like that would be all good on top of it. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to get that, too. You know, I've copied some of your recipes down, Mom. I was watching one today with your cashew butter that you, or, that you just made. You cashew coconut butter that you just used cashews and, and coconut oil. That was That's a simple recipe, simple enough. But my cashew butter had a little bit more in it. But you'll have to watch that with Mama Rose. You'll have to watch my cashew butter recipe I just made before this. And, and uh, you'll have to watch it. And I'm, I'm going to post it up on YouTube, too. But it has a little bit more in it because it had lemon juice in it. And that and that, but um, not yet. I haven't put it because I just did it today, so I'm going to put it up on YouTube later. When I get done here eating my ice cream, I'm going to put it up on YouTube. But I did scope it. I did scope it so you can go back and watch my scope from earlier. It was just on just not too long ago, just a 
Not even an hour ago, I finished up with my uh, cashew butter. So you'll, you're going to have to go watch that. So it's you probably didn't get the notification or were busy doing something else. Okay, okay, good. Well, <laughs> I just wanted to come on a little bit and let you see my ice cream that I made because uh, it's going to be a healthy indulgence. But I probably better eat it before it gets too late and before it starts melting. I mean, it's like water. I don't want to have to drink it with a straw, slip it with a straw. So, oh, good, good, good. So I, I thank you all for coming in and sharing this and, and inviting your followers and such because, with, like I said, without you coming in here, I wouldn't be able to do this. Okay. Bye bye. You take care. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go now and, and I'm gonna eat this ice cream. But I want to thank you all for coming in and and sharing this and 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 supporting me on this and watching me do this. Oh, I sure will. And you too. Everybody have a blessed night or good day wherever you might be. Take care and bye bye.